Welcome to week one. Let's get going on assembly and rigging. If we go over to our start here, and now we've already done the we've done the syllabus quiz, got an 80%. It opens up this link here, takes us to module one. Module one has about the first four weeks of learning material is going to be in module one. Here's what we've got for this week's assignments. We have about a seven pager. This is review, so if you go into this aircraft structures, you click on this PDF. You know, you got to click on the file link here. It'll open up the PDF file. A lot of this uh, has nice big pictures, so this is pretty fast reading. It talks about wing structure, talks about nomenclature of the wings. Here's bi biplane, high wing, low wing, and it talks about rib and spar construction. All right, this is all stuff we're going to need to know for assembly and rigging. You had this in AMT 100 orientation, but we do just a one week quick review on that. After that, we have a little bit more reading, and this section is on aerodynamics. Now this, you can actually skip a lot the last couple of pages, but it starts out talking about flight controls and the four forces. You'll need to know this for the assignment this week, which is the blog assignment. Uh, talks about how an airplane turns and things that we're going to be either discussing or blogging on this week. There's a nice chart here that shows the different con flight controls and what they do. You may need this for your blog. This will help you fill that out. Now when we get down to the section on tabs, which is about page 31, you can actually stop reading at page 31 for this week. We're going to continue on there. There's a couple extra pages which will help you for next week. Now, there is a discussion board. Uh, there's a video here on the four forces of flight. Watch that video. Once again, all of these, these things help you with this week's assignment. Now, the discussion board. So here's how this works. You're going to go into the discussion board and when you go into the discussion board, you have to, you'll see the first, you'll see the first assignment, week one, it says, how would you build a stall airplane? There's a video there that you can watch, and you watch this video, and it talks about the Valdez, the Valdez um, stall contest. So the question is, how would you, if you were building an airplane or modifying an airplane, how would you build or modify the airfoils to make this thing win the contest. Here's a hint. You want a low stall speed. You want the slowest stall speed that you can get. That's just a hint. So anyway, that's going to be a little research project for you. You have to write your answer to this before you can see other people's answers. Once you write your answer, it's going to be a minimum of 150 words. That's like four sentences. Just give me four sentences, guys. Um, after you write a, 150 words, and submit it, then you have to read two other students and comment on it. Hey, I think that's a great idea. Or, hey, did you think about uh, maybe doing this with the flaps or, or gap seals or something like that? And you have to comment on two other people's posts. All right, be nice. Let's, uh, uh, we're a community here, so let's uh, be good citizens. So anyway, that's how you do the discussion board. Actually, the discussion boards will be a a lot more interesting than what we were doing last semester. Just go with it. I think you'll enjoy it. I really enjoy it. The grading on this is you're grade for, graded for participation. I don't care what you say. You're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to cite some opinions. If you cite your opinion on something, you need to back it up with something from the book or something you read on the internet or something like that. But that is the discussion board and you need to have the discussion board done by Sunday. You need to have your first post done by noon on Sunday and then you need to have your comments on other posts done by midnight on Sunday night. And you are penalized for being late on this because because it's a discussion. It doesn't do any good for you to go into a discussion room when everybody else is walking out. Right? So you've got to stay up on that. Let's go back. So then there's a blog assignment. If you click on the blog assignment it'll take you to the blog section and it is on aerodynamic forces. So here is the assignment for that. You're going to find a graphic. You're going to go out to Bing Images or Google Images and find a graphic uh, that, that demonstrates the four forces of flight. 
and then you're going to write in this section two, number two, you're going to list the various flight controls, ailerons, rudders, whatever else there is, flaps. Um, in fact, it gives you here, ailerons, rudders, flaps, uh, elevator. You're going to write a description of what that flight control does. And here I've given you an example. I'm not looking for, you don't have to write me paragraphs and paragraphs, but just write a concise description. And for example, here's one I wrote. The spoilers, which is one of the ones I did not give you, right? But the spoilers are on top of the wing and spoil the lift on the wings. Just tell me basically what it does, all right? Now, you can give me more. I always like more, and I love pictures. If you put pictures in blogs, I love it because I'm, I'm a picture guy. So let's go back. The other assignment I've given you is to download Microsoft Teams. If you're working off a PC, you'll download it on that. If you do it with a mobile device, or, or maybe you do it with both. That is an assignment for this week. In fact, the assignments are a little lighter this week so that you can get all this stuff done, so you can get the syllabus read, you can take the syllabus thing. I realize that. So I've given you some time to do that. So at the end, if you do everything in week one, in the week one folder, you will have completed the assignments. A couple helpful hints. You can always go over here to the notifications section and you can see the things that are coming up due. And you can also go to the calendar for AMT 155. You can click on the calendar and you can also look at my grades. Left hand menu, click on my grades and it tells you all the different assignments that are upcoming or that you submitted and if they've been graded. You can also find the feedback on some of these items. So welcome to week one. I look forward to working with you this semester.